Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe. Our eyes are amazing. So, come on, let's know about its parts and function. The eye sits in a protective bony socket called the orbit. Six extraocular muscles in the orbit are attached to the eye. These muscles move the eye up and down and side to side and rotate the eye. The extraocular muscles are attached to the white part of the eye called the sclera. This is a strong layer of tissue that covers nearly the entire surface of the eyeball. The surface of the eye and the inner surface of the eyelids are covered with a clear membrane called the conjunctiva. Light is focused into the eye through the clear, dome shaped front portion of the eye, called the cornea. Behind the cornea is the anterior chamber. It is filled with the fluid called aqueous humor. Behind the anterior chamber is the eye's iris and the dark hole in the middle called the pupil. Muscles in the iris dilate or constrict the pupil to control the amount of light reaching the back of the eye. Directly behind the pupil sits the lens. The lens focuses light toward the back of the eye. Ciliary muscles is a circular muscle that relaxes or tightens to enable the lens to change shape for focusing. The vitreous body lies between the lens and the back of the eye. A jelly like substance called vitreous humor fills the cavity, nourishing the inside of the eye and helping the eye hold its shape. Light that is focused into the eye by the cornea and lens passes through the vitreous body onto the retina. Retina is the light sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. Choroid is a thin layer of blood vessels that nourish the retina and absorb scattered light. A tiny but very specialized area of the retina called the macula is responsible for giving us our detailed central vision. The other part of the retina, called the peripheral retina, provides us with our peripheral side vision. The retina translates the light into electrical impulses, which are then carried to the brain by the optic nerve. Finally, the visual cortex of the brain interprets these impulses as what we see. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.